The Shark Show. We love to laugh. Your friend and mine, his name is Matthew Frias, the Mexican Viking. Totally fucking funny, dude. Just wanted to promote him on our fucking YouTube. And just have this shit go out. We just went to one of the funniest shows uh, with Josh Blue and Brent Tolbert. Tolbert. This is the Shark Show, and this is our interview with Matthew. Uh, this is our interview with Matthew. What's up, Matthew? How you doing, brother? I'm doing well. How are you guys? Hey, we're doing great, man. Uh, I was talking about you, and I, I understand a lot about your process, and I understand your jokes. Um, tell me what gets you motivated. What gets you motivated to get up on that stage? What gets me motivated? Uh, well, I think I'm funny, and uh, it really makes me inspired and pumped actually like an adrenaline rush when i make people laugh oh i guess that that's where the camera that's is. the camera man that's the camera that's why i'm gonna be looking it's uh, up too. yeah so, that's, that's 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 what really like pumps me up um that and i've i've always kind of been a huge fan of stand-up comedy so whenever i get to like go on stage and make people laugh you know it just really plays out good for me and it's like a high man it's addictive you get hooked Right, man. No, I, I totally get that, dude. Like, tell me what you do to get into your joke process. What's what's going on to where what makes you think, hey, this is funny. Hey, I want other people to think it. Uh, actually, I kind of play off one of my greater strengths, uh, which is like I've always thought in more like skit ideas, like sketch comedy or something. You know? Yeah. I'm always like, that would be hilarious. That's so you're a natural YouTube. writer. Yeah. So I always think in concepts of like. Like a scenario plays out in my head, and I'm like, that'd be really funny. Um, and then I just tweak it to to like talk about it on stage instead of uh, you know, instead of doing sketches because people can, it's hard to get a team to commit to make videos. So instead, I'm doing comedy. Hey, well, you know what? I am glad you're doing it. I'm so be, glad you're doing. Woo! Like, you want to hear? Like, uh, especially how we became friends and everything like that. Like, it, it was kind of a, like a, a back and forth, wasn't it? Yeah, and then I came. Because uh, I remember, like, you, we were doing an open mic. And you bumped me. And you're like, hey, man, what's your number? <laughs> you're like, I want some funny friends. Yeah. You said that. And I'm like, dude, I know what you mean. Because, like, I, I love surrounding myself with just funny people. And it was, like, the first time it was, like, it was, I think it was uh, our second open mic when you showed up. And uh, your shit was just so fucking funny, and I, I was like, I was like, I was like, I gotta talk to this guy, you know. I, that's one of the things too that I've been like trying to push is for people to network within each other to like to get their to, to get stuff going for themselves too, you know. But yeah, I mean, yeah, the way we became friends has just been it's like been blooming <laughs> ever since. But I don't know, like, how do you recall us becoming? Besties. Well, all I knew is, like, my wife was like, hey, dude, hey, hey, go friend that motherfucker. And I was like, well, I don't know his Facebook. I don't know his last name. Oh, really? And, and she's like, <laughs> she's like, no, motherfucker, like, real life, go friend him. <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh, okay. So I went up there and I was like, hey, hey, homie, what's your number, man? I need, I need a... <laughs> now I, I know need, the other side of the story. I need, so <laughs> I need some funny I need friends. Genius. Right here. I need some funny friends, and uh, my wife says that my friends aren't funny. They're not. And so, uh, Lucky. yeah. You I know, was it's like, really funny because, like, I just told my side of the thing, yeah. and like, this is all clicking and making so much it more sense. It does make more sense, yeah. Like, literally, him coming over and is like, I need funny <laughs> friends. Like, I want funny like, friends. Like, I need more funny friends. Like, seriously, this is one of the funniest guys I know. Uh, his shit makes sense. That's what I love. Like open mic nights are not a way to judge a comic. Let me tell you that right now, because when we go up on open mics, we're trying out new material. Most of the time, yeah. And we're trying to get a feel for how that material is going. And and I might do a, a joke from open mic night three or four times to get a feel for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Before I put it in my set. Mm -hmm. No, I know exactly what you mean. So need. you know. It was really interesting though because whenever I started off, it was with Don and Darren, and yeah. so like I wasn't an open mic. I just threw a, a bit together because I wanted to do comedy wow. real bad, and then like I started a page and everything because I was like determined. I'm like, when I get out of college, I'm gonna start a comedy scene, and then I started a comedy action squad. Now you guys can like yeah. and follow, but uh. <laughs> 
So I started that, and then Don and Darren, they had Casper Comedians Care, and they were trying to launch that off, and it was very serendipitous that our visions kind of aligned. And then uh, we met up. Yeah, so then they hit me up, and they just offered me, they're like, hey, do you want to do two minutes? Uh, my bit ended up being five, five and a half, <laughs> which was like longer than whenever I was timing myself. Uh, but since then, doing open mics and doing other shows, with the way we've been booking shows and doing open mics, actually, sometimes I'll get a new joke and I'll just throw it into my set and try and work it, you know. You just felt like a, like yeah. a flashbang? Yeah. Just like and throw then, it out there yeah, and see the, if it pops? Mm -hmm. And I mean, I may not get as many laughs as, as it would if I worked it out and got the punch-ups in, but you still get laughs and then it works itself out in, yeah. in the long run anyway. But yeah, open mics are where it's at. Also, if you're interested, <laughs> Follow Comedy Action Squad now, and we keep you guys up to date on all the open There's mics. a link below. I'm going to go ahead and put the link right here on the screen, too. Link. So, Comedy Action Squad now. On Facebook. On Facebook. Remember that. Remember to follow the Mexican Viking on Facebook right here. Link down below. Remember to follow Comedy by Arturo right down below and the Shark Show. Uh, we're coming to you live. Well, I guess not live by the time you see it, but... It's live right now. It's live right now. I, I feel I feel pretty live right now. Pretty live. I tell you this right now. This guy right here is funny. Go follow his shit. Remember to subscribe and like down below. Fucking love you guys. And love the you. reason we do this is because we want your adoration. We feed off that shit. You have no when idea. You got, it's a fucking drug. It's a drug. When you guys laugh at us and and we're able to fucking bring a smile to your face, man, it's like fucking heroin. Seriously, slap the wrist, slap the arm. We're down. We're 100%. Thank you very much, man. Matthew. Sir. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Always a pleasure, for sure. Remember, follow the Mexican Viking, yeah. Facebook, Twitter. All right. Yep. Hit us up. Later. Ow.